So next question of this paper is question number 34. If the unit cell of a mineral has cubic close packed array of oxygen atoms with m fraction of octahedral holes occupied by aluminium ions and n fraction of tetrahedral holes occupied by magnesium ions m and n respectively are and four options are given. See in this question. The mineral is made up of magnesium, aluminium and oxygen and this mineral is Mg Al2 O4. So lattice formation is taking place by oxygen atom and this is CCP lattice. It means number of octahedral void octahedral voids per unit cell will be 4 while number of tetrahedral voids will be 8. Now in this question it is mentioned that m fraction of octahedral holes occupied by aluminium ions. So let us see number of aluminium ions occupying occupying octahedral voids according to the formula two aluminium ions are present per unit cell and these aluminium ions are occupying octahedral voids so out of four voids Two voids are occupied by aluminium ion. So this fraction is 2 by 4. And this fraction is marked as M. It means the value of M should be 2 by 4. That is 1 by 2. Number of magnesium ions occupying tetrahedral void. This fraction is marked as N. Now this is mentioned in the question that N fraction of tetrahedral holes occupied by magnesium ion. Now in this unit cell there is only one magnesium atom or magnesium ion. So one magnesium ion will occupy only one void and total number of tetrahedral voids are 1 by 8. So this fraction which is marked as N is 1 by 8. So M is 2 by 4, it means 1 by 2 and N is 1 by 8. Value of M, 1 by 2, value of N, 1 by 8. It means in the given option, the first option is correct option. That is option A. So answer should be A. Answer A is correct option. Moving to the next question. Question number 35. Compound that on hydrogenation produces optically inactive compound is R. Four structures are given as four options. In order to find the answer, we need to write the equation. Suppose this one is the first compound. Hydrogenation that is reaction of hydrogen in presence of nickel, platinum or palladium that will take place at unsaturated pond. If first one is the given, this compound becomes saturated compound having this structure HBr. So here unsaturated it means double bond converted into single bond and immediately the carbon atom becomes chiral carbon atom. So in this case the product is chiral product optically active. Compound is obtained. If second one is the structure of compound. Hydrogenation. Hydrogenation will take place at double bond. This becomes CH3.
hydrogen this is bromine now you can say that this carbon atom is not the chiral carbon atom because both the group attached to them are similar so this compound is optically inactive optically inactive product if c is the structure of compound upon hydrogenation the product form will have this structure like this now again you can see that this carbon atom is chiral carbon atom it means the product obtained will be optically active product if fourth one is the structure of given compound upon hydrogenation the structure of product form will be like this br this is hydrogen now again you can say that this carbon atom is not a chiral carbon atom it means the product obtained will be optically inactive product so in this question two of the given compounds are producing optically active product and two of the compounds are giving optically inactive product we have to find the compound that on hydrogenation produces optically inactive compound optically inactive it means option b and option d are correct option option b and option d are correct answer of this question